Welcome back here at Hard Labor Creek Shooting Sports right now with Winston Barlow, CEO of CMOS Kids, uh, an organization that uh, makes the effort to um, uh, enable children with uh, handicaps, with challenges, however you want to say it, to enjoy the outdoors. Uh, Hard Labor Creek Shooting Sports, a wonderful opportunity for a venue to allow just that. When we come back, uh, we're going to talk to Winston about his organization, uh, what he offers, and maybe some of the plans uh, for the near future right here at Hard Labor Creek Shooting Sports. You're watching Real Florida Outdoors, and we will be right back. Welcome back. Uh, as mentioned, we're here with Winston Barlow from CMOS Kids. Winston, uh, you spent the day here in Chipley today, and uh, it's been a pleasure to meet you and to find out more about your organization. Uh, here now at Hard Labor Creek Shooting Sports, um, it's a, a beautiful day. Uh, it's overcast enough to keep it from getting too hot. Uh, there's a gentle breeze, uh, kind of balmy uh, day uh, here in, in amongst the, all these pines. CMOS Kids, um, uh, as I mentioned in the intro, um, uh, enabling children to enjoy, in some cases, that which they ordinarily would would not have that opportunity. Talk a little bit about what CMOS Kids is all about. All right, first of all, it's my pleasure to meet you too, Paul. I've had a, a, a great time getting to know you. A great time out here at uh, Hard Labor Creek. It's just, uh, it's an awesome, awesome facility and uh, it's gonna fit right in with our plans with CMOS Kids. Uh, we just wanna thank uh, Ted and Gary so much for opening this opportunity to us. It's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful pine plantation here. Just a uh, perfect place for quail hunting, which they offer quail hunting. Uh, they have a, a skeet range, they have uh, sporting clays, and also have trap shooting. And it's, it's just a, a beautiful facility here. They've just built a new clubhouse, and uh, I'm sure that the, the kids will enjoy it. Hopefully the kids won't tear their clubhouse up. <laughs> But uh, no, we are just uh, we're just so honored to be a, a, a part of what we can put together with this facility with CMOS Kids. And uh, just thank you so much for you, for Mike Murphy, for uh, everyone for just helping us uh, bring all this together. Because I, I know it's going to hold an awesome future for many, many kids. And it's just going to be a blessing. As you said, that... Uh, the word that I like to use is empowering these kids. It, uh, it empowers these kids to be able to come out to, to do things that really their parents don't even realize they can do. Paul, they, 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 when they get out here in the great outdoors, there's just too many kids sitting in front of televisions now. They need to get out more, which I'm not saying there's anything wrong with television, but they need to get out and get some fresh air and, and enjoy these facilities such as uh, Hard Labor Creek offers. It's a beautiful place. The kids can get out here and they can shoot their bows. I mean, and uh, many people don't realize we carry a lot of kids uh, that shoot crossbows out of a wheelchair and they're taking animals with those crossbows. It's, it's amazing. You just wouldn't believe what uh, what these kids can accomplish. I know that you mentioned earlier in, in our discussion that you don't use the word handicapped or challenged. Instead, you call them? We call them handy-abled because we feel that they are, actually that's what they are. They're handy-abled. They're not handicapped because they are able to do anything with a little help and it may take some special devices, but if if you can, you can get your creative thinking hat on and you can offer them a little help. Uh, we've carried kids that are blind. We've carried them hunting. We've carried kids that are paralyzed from the neck down. And these kids are taking animals with us. And uh, we're talking about hogs, deer, turkey. Uh, we are basically doing what most people would think is the impossible. We're making it possible for these kids. And it's just a, a, amazing what these kids can do. And their attitudes is truly amazing because they do have to work harder than the average individual. What we take for granted they see as a challenge and these kids are happy to face the challenge and it's just uh, it's just amazing they take all my rights to complain away from me <laughs> it's pretty hard to uh, to complain about your car breaking down when you look <laughs> at one of these kids in a, in a chair unfortunately in our um, uh, in our attempt to be politically correct um, we furnish handicapped spaces and opportunities for these people, but we don't treat them like people. Sometimes at the end of the day, we, we fail miserably as people ourselves, and they don't want anything special. They just want to be treated like everyone else. So we don't, we don't, we don't need to go out on a limb and say, we're going to do something special for you. Just, just act normally. And um, how much that does for a child's, uh, you, you've, you've told me a few stories about people just simply being treated as anyone else is, and it, they just come out of their shell. Oh, absolutely. I, I offered you one story uh, about a child that went on a hunt with us that uh, we didn't even see a deer that day. And as I think back, I can see his preparation that night where he laid all of his gear out. 
and he would check and double check and then triple check to make sure he had everything laid out. The next day, uh, this kid, we had to ride him up on a four wheeler up to the stand we got in and we didn't see a deer. And I thought, well, I failed this kid miserably. I said, he's never gonna wanna go hunting. Well, the first thing we get back to camp, he wants to call his mom and said, mom, I'm a real hunter now. And I, that's when the light bulb went off that it's not take, about taking the animal. It's just about including them and treating them just like they're they're one of the they're just one of the guys in camp. You know, they just they just want to be treated equal, and it's just a, amazing that when you learn that. And it's something that I had to deal with that you want to, in our nature, we want to treat these kids differently, but that's not what they want. Uh, I, another child that we took hunting, his dad tells me that a problem that he has is people will address him all the time to ask him about his handicapped child. And he says, ask him, you know, he's handicapped, but he's not mentally unstable. He understands what you're saying, talk to him. And it's something in human nature that it's good to get around these kids kids and learn to do this because you learn that uh, sometimes I tell people that I think they're the ones that's got it right. We're the ones that's got it wrong because we do complain through all their adversity. You don't hear them complain and they're just always happy and just, yeah, it's just, it's, a, it's really a learning experience that we get blessed. If somebody wants to find out more about your efforts, uh, I know you've got a website. What is that? Yes, sir. www.cmokids.org. That's C M-O-K-I-D-S dot org. And that website's on the bottom of the screen right now. Um, I know that you're uh, in the process right now of trying to find people to partner with you in all kinds of ways. Uh, obviously, uh, I'd love to get a check penned, but in many cases, people can participate with you even in better ways than giving you money. Uh, what are your needs right now immediately? Oh, absolutely. Our needs, our number one need is always kids. I mean, we're we're always looking for kids and we're looking for kids anywhere. Uh, the next thing, it takes volunteers to go out with these kids and they can go on to the website, they can register a volunteer. There will be uh, some things that they have to fill out uh, to get back with us and then we'll get back with them and we'll see where they can, where and how they can fit in. Uh, we also need properties to, to take kids on, properties to carry them hunting, properties to carry them fishing properties to carry them uh, um, um, camping and uh, then always all this stuff takes money it take it costs money to plant food plots it costs money to uh, to sometimes put feeders out for the animals we try to do everything that we can to to put the hunt in the favor of the child and anything that we can legally do then then we'll do we don't do anything illegal but uh, we do everything we can legally do to put the hunt in the favor of the child and and that costs money sometimes travel expense sometimes the families that come to bring the kids on the hunt with us they don't have the money for a hotel expense and such as that and we take care of that so anyone that like would like to donate we can certainly use the donations also well we have the good fortune of working with gary clark and ted everett here at hard labor creek shooting sports we also have the uh, the honor of working with mike murphy and kids hooked on the outdoors right both of of those entities uh with whom you're going to be partnering uh very soon mm -hmm. uh so uh, watch for uh winston barlow and cmos kids featured on kids hooked on the outdoors as well as here at Harley Labor Creek shooting sports. Um, there's probably nothing here that those kids won't be able to do uh, from 3D archery to trap to skeet to uh, sporting clays, uh, even gave it getting into the quail a little bit and certainly mm -hmm. some bass fishing. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got to be excited about the potential uh, right here at Hard Labor Creek. I am extremely excited about this and you know the thing that I enjoyed the most about sitting down with Gary and Ted was that I could immediately feel that they had the same passion for the kids that I have. I mean they are they have all for their blessing of this facility but there's a lot of people that have facilities that will offer and just to be nice but their heart shined out to me to let me know that, that they have a heart for the kids too it was more than just an offer it was something that they wanted to help and change kids lives as much as we do at see most kids well you heard the uh, the conversation that we had with gary clark about uh, 4-h and the shooting sports he's been involved in um, and the reward that he gets um, that pretty well paints the picture i Absolutely. think that, that you need and and so um, we look forward to seeing you again soon uh we enjoyed today certainly and uh, i know you're going to be back soon we're going to be doing all kinds kinds of activity.
activities out here at Harlebur Creek. So thank you for making the trip from uh, from uh, up there, uh, up up down uh, over in south southeast Georgia. That's right. You had about a four hour drive. Four hour, four hour drive this morning. Yeah. Okay. Um, not something to sneeze at. So you, you you made the effort to come on over here, and we appreciate that. And best of luck going forward. Well, we we appreciate it so much. We look forward to moving forward and and just uh, everything that that can be offered to bless these kids. And it's just, uh, I, I just can't thank all of you guys enough. And a four hour drive is nothing for the potential that this brings for the kids. See most kids, Hard Labor Creek shooting sports. It's a great combination. You're gonna be seeing lots more from both of those soon, right here on uh, Real Florida Outdoors. Um, we made a new friend today. Um, hopefully you can get involved. If you wanna find out more, the website there is on the bottom of the screen, cmokids.org. Um, a great organization, a great opportunity to, to get involved. Uh, if you're wondering, what can I do? I'm out here in uh, North Dakota or in South Florida or wherever you happen to be. Uh, if you see this, write a check uh, or just send a letter. Send an email to, uh, to Winston saying, best of luck. Our prayers are with you. That's all it's going to take. You're watching Real Florida Outdoors, and we will be right back.